Hi, Scorpio. Welcome to Higher Source Tarot for your January 2022 mid-month tarot reading. This is a reading for all Scorpio. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Thank you to all of you for your support. I hope you're off to a great start in 2022. And if you are new here, welcome to you. I post new readings every Friday, then again on Monday. So if reading doesn't resonate, come back in a couple of days. You can watch a new reading. Fridays are always a general reading. Mondays are different every week. So today's reading will be a more detailed Celtic cross style reading. Now we always say tarot is for entertainment purposes. Of course, it's sacred divination. So we want to utilize the energy of the cards and apply them how we can in our own lives. And if you like tarot and you like the channel, I'd love to invite you to subscribe to Higher Source Tarot. All right. What advice do you have for Scorpio? Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. What does Scorpio need to know, please, for the best and highest good of all concerned with Scorpio? Messages for Scorpio, please. All right, so we will begin here with the tarot, and then we'll have the angel answers. Current situation, we've got the two of pentacles with the fool as the immediate influence. Your subconscious holds the knight of cups, the Justice is in the distant past. Three of Pentacles is in the more recent past. You have the world coming towards you. You're represented by the Ten of Wands. The person or situation you've attracted here is the Seven of Swords. We've got death in your hopes and fears. Three of Wands in the outcome. Well, I like it. You've got here Libra Scorpio. It looks like you've got, um, all, not, yeah, I don't think you have any, yeah. You don't have any water here, but you do have you do have it here. You've got Aquarius, so you've got all the elements. My apologies there. Well, I feel like if you've been worried about something, they're just telling you not to be worried. You've got two cars of wish fulfillment flanking this nine of swords, which is really interesting. So that brings you up to five major arcana in this reading. Major arcana are about very important life changes life phases for you so we don't we give them more measure than the minor arcana minor arcana tend to be more day-to-day -day influences but when we start to see these major arcana it's like a real turning point for you so with the um with that nine of swords it can be a restlessness but again a lot of times it's worry that's not founded it really isn't necessary that's why they bring that in with these kinds of cards around it the Nine of Cups, he's an innkeeper, and he sits back, and he's proud of his cups. He's proud of his accomplishments. It's attaining things. It's bringing in your heart's desire. What you want is here. It's available to you. Nine of Cups, very high vibrational energy. All those waves in his garment and the cloth behind him indicate vibration. And so what you achieve in this energy, what you manifest is very positive. Now, we love the star with the Nine of Cups. I mean, you really can't ask for more than that. Um, the star card, you know, she is unbothered by this water that goes into the into the earth, okay? She knows there's more water available because source energy is never ending. There's no drought with source. You're always connected to source energy. Meditate, take great care of yourself. If you have things around your house too, I don't see the four of pentacles here, but I'm thinking of it. If you have stuff around your house that when you see it, it gives you a mild pang of discomfort or depression, might be time to clean it out. Because with the star, there's a kind of a clean feeling about this reading, a fresh feeling. There's complete acceptance here. It's revelation, it's hope, it's insight, and it's an inner knowing and an inner peace. So when you're in that energy of like nine of cups and star card energy, you're going to attract people that are positive people wherever you go. You're going to feel synergy and connection to people. You are vibrating this energy of success. And so with the Fool and the Two of Pentacles here, you may have a decision to make, but the Fool is like, can be a radical shift. It can be a major career shift. It can be moving somewhere you've always wanted with this energy together, but you're definitely manifesting something that you've dreamed about. The infinity symbol around that Two of Pentacles is important, the size of it. They're just trying to tell you, Everything you want is available. There's nothing off limits to you, Scorpio. It's all here. So some of you, again, you're going to bring in some very favorable changes at work. I do feel like they're trying to tell you not to overdo it, though. Don't work too hard. Don't work yourself into the ground. Somebody here with that Nine of Swords, is they're staying up too late. 
you're not getting enough sleep and it's creating more, it's just like almost slowing down the manifesting. And so with this two of pentacles, it is a bit of a busy energy, but again, there's a fun nature about it. It's getting excited, it's enthusiasm. And especially with the fool, the fool signals a major transition. It's a new beginning, but it's a brand new, fresh, clean slate. In terms of relationships too, there's something here, especially if you're moving or you're moving about, there's something about a new environment here with the world that's important. And so with the fool, he stands at that jumping off place. He has released all resistance. You're going to be very approachable in this energy. So anybody that if it, you're looking for a new partnership, because you have nice energies for teaming, for companionship, for building up. And twos too are about partnerships as well. So in a relationship, there may be a bit of strife with this. There may be somebody that overlooked something or they did something that was not very thoughtful, but I do feel like you may be able to reconcile that. Or if it's something where you haven't broken up, but you've just been in a funk with somebody, it's time for a turning point in that relationship. So with the fool, you're full of life power. You're free. You're free to move forward. He is the beginner's mind though. So again, with new jobs, that's important. It's like learning, being a student of life, getting more information, but it brings in wisdom. So with this, this is in your subconscious. It's the the Knight of Cups comes in. Knights are here to do us favor. They are they're here to help us. And so especially with this one, it's all about love. It's bringing you love and that great life. The Knight of Cups delivers. Okay, it brings us into that place where we love our lives. And so if you're wondering what's in my subconscious, well, look around you. Look at your relationships. Look at your finances. All of those are coming out of your subconscious beliefs. And so if you want to change it, you can. Your conscious mind influences the subconscious. The subconscious basically believes whatever you tell it. And, and I, when I say believes, it's what you really believe too. So not just the words, but the feelings are the secret. And your heart will whisper the truth. And so sometimes we have limitations that have been layered on. And we've had turns of events that have um, substantiated it, right? You go, well, my God, look at all these broken relationships. No wonder that's been hard. But it's it can change and you can have this. It's available to you. The, so, the Knight of Cups, too, is a daydreamer energy. And you have it, too, a bit with the Three of Wands. It's like having that visionary energy. So seeing things in the first person as if you're experiencing them, that's what really can impact your subconscious. So with the Justice card, it's in the distant past. This may be a connection to your overall need for order, for honesty, loyalty. There's knowledge and wisdom here. It is a card, too, of a judge. So certainly if you do anything with the legal system, if you've gone through some kind of training or something like that, or it could have been for some of you if you had a divorce or some kind of legal case going on, um, you move forward into that three, the two threes in the world. So that's really positive. So with this justice card, though, it's understanding and knowing the absolute truth. You know, for some of you, too, you may have had a turning point where you had to start putting your foot down with people, you had to demand more, you know, not not from them, but demand more respect, they have expectations where if they didn't if they didn't meet the expectation, that was that, you know, where it's like, I'm not going to give somebody a bunch of second chances that you don't trust. This really is a card of great integrity and balance. Um, it can be too the universe balancing things out for you and bringing in, because you've got nice aspects for love and partnerships. So with this three of pentacles, it's a team. It's very harmonious. This is in the more recent past. Some of you, though, it's building a relationship up. It's expansion of a relationship. There's stability in the pentacles. It's an architect giving plans, making plans for the future. So some of you, you know, maybe if you haven't met anyone yet, it could even be in the next three months. I see that in the springtime as spring starts to, you know, awaken the, the energy around us. There's somebody there for you, but... With this three of pentacles in the meantime, it definitely is an energy where you have good working relationships with other people. If you need a contractor at your house, I feel like they'll be honest. They'll be somebody that you can rely on. You have good communication. It's not that person you text day after day and they don't answer you. This is somebody who actually answers, especially in a business relationship. 
Um, so with this, threes are about growth and multiplication. And so it's definitely a card of manifesting and bringing forward positive concrete elements into your life. So when we start to see this together, you know, it's really a beautiful energy to bring in wish fulfillment, synergy, a brand new awakened life. You know, there's some, there's an evolution here between the star and the world. It's all the same characters, the female and the male. And you may recall with the high priestess, she starts off in that robe, right? That robe that turns into the seat of the soul, the pool of consciousness that's featured in the cards. And so with the world being here, it's complete mastery. It's that dream life mastery coming towards you. She's dancing in that wreath of victory because whatever you're asking about, you've got a successful conclusion coming forward. It's feeling like that moment when your heart skips a beat, you've got butterflies, you know it's happening and it's awesome. There's nothing off limits to you. This is like living a life without limits. It's total freedom, autonomy, but it's success. It's real joy. And so with the um, the card of the world, there's no downside to it. It's a new cycle that brings in this energy where everything seems to be in flow. You attract the right people. You've got the right timing. This can also be getting out and seeing the world. I mentioned to some of you, if you're moving, this is an important card because it indicates a very positive change of scenery around you, even taking a vacation. But whatever you're doing with the Three of Wands as well, there's planning involved. There's planning, but it brings in a you know, culmination of events. And so the Ten of Wands has you working a bit harder than we like to see. It's putting forth in a lot of effort. Sometimes when we do this so and we're manifesting, it becomes force manifesting. We got to watch that because we'll get it for a while and then it goes away because it wasn't really from the energy standpoint. It was basically more in the willful way, forcing things. Um, others of you, though, if it's been something at work, too, where you just haven't have enough people and you've been working other people's jobs, covering a lot for other people here, there may be a change in that, too. Or even if it's around your house, it feels like better, you know, better help is coming in. I think I mentioned a new resource for you, Scorpio. You can put down these wands because they're heavy and burdensome. You've done it, though, okay? Because tents are about completion. They're a, a new cycle that begins. So it's time to put down that burdensome energy. It is action energy. So I do feel like you continue to move forward and you get more support along the way because you have definitely nice cards for support. So anybody that's needing that, feeling like even if it's around your house where you feel like nobody helps or, you know, they've got that house in the backdrop and there aren't too many homes in, um, in, in the cards. You know, it's interesting because when you read cards, you really want to pay attention to where your eye falls. I look at this community behind the Seven of Swords, this, the flags. It almost looks like theatrical in a way or um, there, there's something about that, though. It's almost like taking from a community. So those of you at work, if you had somebody who hasn't been pulling their weight, they're represented by this. And it's like it's taking away from everybody by them not doing the full job. It's creating 10 of wands for you. Now with the seven of swords though, the yellow in the backdrop is always positive. You've got it several times. And it's a card that tells you with the proper precautions. So Scorpio, you might, if there's a situation you're observing, you may say something sooner than later. And you might not go directly to this person. It may be one of those things if it's if it's something you're able to, you know, speak out about to a supervisor or something like that. Um, I, I just feel like with this person, I'm not sure going to them would do that much good. It's almost like they would they would almost give them too much information so they could cover their tracks. Um, in terms of a relationship, the only thing I'd say about this because you do have the three of wands. If somebody left abruptly, they definitely regret that. This is a card of poor preparation. You make some mistakes along the way and you definitely have some regrets afterwards. So again, if somebody left or they left you high and dry or it was something to do with a roommate who moved out and they didn't pay their sh fair share, they may have left behind some very important belongings. I know I'm getting off a bit on the reading, but I do get that for somebody like you almost have collateral now. I hate to say that, but it's true. Like they've left something important behind and you might not even be aware of it, but I feel like somebody's going to get a call 
like, hey, I left my birth certificate. And you go, well, hey, can I have the rest of the money for the utilities? Venmo me. So anyway, you've got the death card here, your energy. Death is beautiful in the tarot. It's a new beginning. It's a radical new life. We open our arms up wide with this because it's an awakening. It's like the rest of your life starts here. When we say your life starts today, it begins with death, strangely enough. And so with this, you move past any old issues. No wreckage of the past comes with you. You're moving forward into a dawn of a new day. It's a new beginning. And when the Three of Wands is a card of success, it's all about expansion growth. Now he does wait for his ships to return, but with a knowing. So anything that you're manifesting, especially with the world being here, there's a knowing that it's on the way. You're, there's this energy connection to it already. So you're going to have nice expansion in your career, but also with partnerships too. So relationships expand and grow. And there might be a bit of an element of excitement too, with it being the wands, okay? Because those don't disappoint me. Those don't disappoint. How about that? The three of action, it's taking action. It's moving forward. But with the pentacles, it, you keep the commitment. All right, so. All right, so we've got look for a sign. They're all around you. Get more information. So with those swords, that may be part of it. It's up to you, they say, Scorpio. You've got in the near future, and there's something better, though. So be open to it. Ask for this or something better. You've got wish fulfillment. Don't sell yourself short because anything's available. Good things are on the way for you. I love you, and I'll be back again soon.